Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Swift and the perfect framework in Ubuntu Desktop. I have a standard out-of-the-box version of Ubuntu here with a couple of uh, tabs open in Firefox. And I have the uh, shell open. Any URLs that I use, I'll put them in the uh, in the description of this video. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install git. So we will do sudo apt git install git. Okay, I'll put in the root password and we'll say yes. And we're installing git. At the same time that that's going, I'm going to go over to swift.org. I'm going to go to downloads. And I'm going to go to the release version. That's 3.02. And I'm going to click on the Ubuntu 16.04. That's the version I've downloaded. I'm going to save the file to my disk. So that's going to take a second to download. At the same time as I'm doing that, I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and we're going to see that in order to properly install a Swift, we need to install a couple of extra packages. So I went down to the Linux section of this web page, and it says install the required dependencies. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go back to I'm going to go back to my shell. Uh, I now have Git installed, so I will just paste in these dependencies, and let's install those dependencies. So there we go. They're installing, and if we look here, our download just finished. So once the dependencies are done, we'll be able to go to the next step. Same time we're doing that, let me just jump over to Perfect. Perfect is our framework. I'm going to go to uh, Getting Started. And you'll see here, whoops, we'll go to uh, Access Tutorial. And you'll see that in order to install Swift, uh, sorry, in order to install Ubuntu, we need a couple of other things as well. So, uh, sorry not to install Ubuntu in order to install Perfect. So let's see how we're doing. Okay, so I've installed the packages for Swift. I've also downloaded Swift. I'm also going to install these packages for Perfect. So let's go back here. Let me paste that in. Okay, so, let me just recap. I've downloaded Swift, I've installed the Swift special packages, and I've installed the perfect special packages. Now, let's do an LS to see where we are, and let's go into Downloads. In Downloads, you'll see there is our Swift, um, our Swift download. Let's, uh, Unpack that using tor minus xnf swift. And what that's going to do is it's going to unpack and create a directory. So there's the directory. I'm going to cd into that directory. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to cd again. And whoops. I shouldn't have pressed CD. I'm going to go back into Downloads, LS, CD Swift, LS, CD USR, LS, CD Min, LS. Okay, 
This is the directory that contains Swift and other things. I need to put this directory into my path. In order to do that, I'll do PWD, which is print the working directory. And there it is there. I'm going to copy the working directory. And I'm going to do CD to get back to my home d directory. I'm going to use nano because that's a simple little editor. And I'm going to nano the profile. The profile is the file that gets run every time you log in. If we look down in, in the profile, you'll see we have the path. The path already has a few things in it. I can add by pasting. I'm going to add our new... Um, I'm going to add our new... Path. So our path now includes the downloads of Swift. So I'm going to save that by doing Control X. I'm going to say yes and save it. In order to simulate a login, I'm going to do dot space dot profile. That will trigger my uh, profile to run. So if everything worked out well, I should be able to type Swift. And let's check the version. And we see that Swift is now installed. Very good. We got Swift installed. Great. Okay. The next thing we have to do is we have to, in order to do a perfect project, we have to start by making a Swift package. So. I'm going to uh, MKDIR and I'll call it perfect server. So I'm making a perfect server and let me CD into our perfect server. Okay, there we are. And now I need a Swift package. So I'm going to do Swift package init dash dash type executable. This will make us an executable Swift package. Just to prove it's working, I could do Swift build and dot slash dot build debug and uh, perfect server and it should say hello world. So that proves to us that we have Swift up and running. That's great. But we don't want that. We want perfect. So what we have to do is make sure we get all the perfect packages. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to say nano perfect.swift. This is the file that manages the packages required for this package. I'm going to start by putting a comma here and I'm going to add some dependencies. The way I'm going to get those dependencies is I'm going to go to the GitHub page for the perfect HTTP server. Again, I'll put these URLs in the description. So what we need to do is we need to copy just these dependencies here. So if I copy those dependencies and I go back to my nano, I can simply paste those dependencies in. So now I'm saying that my perfect server depends upon the perfect HTTP server. Again, we're going to save this. Control X. Yes. And that's now saved. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a little uh, server. So. I'm going to say nano, nano sources, and main. This is the main, and it's just a little hello world. I'm going to go back up into uh, Firefox. I'm going to go to GitHub again, but this time I'm going to go to my page, chatlon.com. So I just Chris Chatlon. And we're going to grab 
which repository we're gonna grab the rest IPA starter. I'll go to sources and main. And I'm just gonna copy all of this code from here. Again, we're gonna copy the whoops, not that. I'm going to copy this, go back here and paste. Notice that this makes a little web server that looks for a document root, the document root called, called web root. So we'll set that up next. So I'll make a new directory called web root. I'll cd to web root and I'll nano, I'll nano perfect dot html. And I'll make a simple little page here, just call this perfect server. And we'll close the H1. And there we go. So, just to recap, we've installed Swift. We've made a Swift executable. We've added the perfect packages to the Swift executable. We've made a web root, and we put a little file in the web root. We're now ready to compile and run. So, just let me clear the screen. How do we compile? Swift packages update. This is not compiling, but this will satisfy all of our dependencies. Whoops, what happened? Uh, I'm unable to invoke sub. <laughs> Sorry, Swift package. Uh, update. Sorry, I put package instead of packages. So now we're, at, we're downloading all of our packages. you using Git. That's why I had to install Git. It's a bit slower than I expected. I'm sorry about that. It'll only take a minute. Now, once this is installed, we then have to compile. And the way we compile is we just do Swift build, the same as we did before. And if everything works out, everything should compile. Again, it's a little slower than I expected, but we should be okay. It is kind of neat that we're able to run um, Swift in a Linux environment. Okay, so it's now compiled. So now let's run the executable dot build. Uh, debug perfect server. And it's telling us it's on port 88. So let's go over here. Let's grab a new, um, the, a new, a new tab, and we'll go to localhost colon eighty eighty. That'll tell us we have no index page, and then we'll do slash perfect dot html. And there's our perfect server. So, in this video, we took a standard Ubuntu desktop, we installed Swift, we installed Perfect, and we got a perfect server up and running. You can now go back, I'm going to stop this, if we go back to Nano, uh, sources, your job is to start doing some roots in, in this section right here based on assignment four. All right, that's it for this video. And uh, again, check out the uh, check out the video's description for the different URLs I use. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.